Hi, um, this is Hintz and we're, we're with uh, Spectrum Optical Instrument. We're pretty new. All right, so for my last video about Neve, uh, I'm gonna talk a little bit over it just because some of the beginning parts, I, I lost some of the audio. It was clipping in and out on me. Uh, I have a bad transmitter and I'll get that replaced for next year. But anyways, so Mirror Sky or Spectrum, you know, these are two companies that are owned by the same people and they partner with each other basically. And they've come out with a series of new telescopes, uh, a series of mounts, and also an interesting camera, which is, why I thought I would highlight them because as you all know ZWO came out with a camera it's a duo that has an ASI Air built into the camera itself and a lot of people say no they're the only ones doing this well actually ZWO is not the only one doing this and that's because Mirror Sky is also doing the same thing they also came out with a camera that has the computer built into the camera itself and you know, it functions a lot like an ASI Air. You know, it has pointing abilities, it has polar alignment abilities, it will polar align uh, the mount for you and everything. Uh, it will do the go-to, of course, and imaging and so forth. Now, it's not a cool camera. It's the only thing that's kind of a little bit different about it, uh, but they are working on a cool camera, at least they said they are. And, and in this image here, you're seeing me talk to Hens. Uh, there's, there's two different telescopes they got. I think they're both, uh, 80 millimeter scopes and one was an apo and the other one was just a ed doublet and then of course they also have a small 50 millimeter ed scope which is a doublet and i believe has a field flattener for it as well so you can image with it and get some really really wide field shots and and then of course they had two different mounts that one of them is like a i think a hybrid strain wave system and the other one was a complete strain wave system so for those of you who are you know kind of still on the fence about whether or not you should go to a harmonic mount you know you have an option there so yeah that kind of a bit sums it up and i thought it was a pretty cool piece of technology and i certainly hope them the best and what is cool about this is that it's showing us something in the industry or the market you know the industry is moving towards this type of camera where the computer is built right into the camera so it's something we're going to see more of you know unlike the duo the duo zw is still the only company making duo cameras although i, I do see other companies eventually coming out with duo cameras as well because they do work. All right, so tell me about this little guy. It's an AZ mount, right? Yeah, this is an AZ mount, but we actually have an option of making it a um, EQ with an EQ wedge. Okay. Um, this telescope, just like any other of our telescopes, it comes with the mount, the guy scope, and the guy camera. This is not the guy scope. This is the 63 um, ED that we put on, mm -hmm. um, but it actually comes with the guy scope. The guy scope is also an ED. Um, this little guy actually goes for uh, 469. And it's a pretty good deal and then we use the same software in the electrical system um, so you control everything on your phone yeah, i was actually going to ask if you guys have a wedge for this that's pretty cool that you yeah, thought about we do that. we do yeah we have a little wedge on it but it's not included yet but we try to keep the maybe keep the price the same and then try to include that wedge as well for for you know a bit of ex expansion very cool hans thank you yeah thank you